beg my I sent you off this house already. And as long as your husband has not done anything wrong to you, you have no right to come back to this house. Daddy, what are you saying? Stella, give your daughter some cold water to drink, pick up her box and whatever it is she has brought in here, and get out of this place because you have no place in this house. This is her father's house? Yes, and she's married now, so she should go to her husband's house. No, this is unheard of. This is unheard of. <laughs> I can't do such a thing. No, he has to come here and apologize to her. She will not go to him. Hmm. That is your choice. It is either she leaves this house now or you go with her. And let me tell you people, if you want Mark to apologize to you, you had better go to his house because that is definitely not going to happen in my house. Daddy, are you sending me out of my father's house? Yes, get out. I'm not going anywhere. This is my father's house. You go to your father's house. Father's house. What kind of man did I marry? What kind of man did I Don't worry, darling. Don't worry. Come inside first. I mean, what is wrong with daddy? If I leave this place right now, where will I go? I cannot just go back to my in-laws. If I go back there, the shame will be too much. If I go back, my husband will just feel like everything I've said has been empty threats. Sometimes your father's behavior just, just boggles my mind. A man of such caliber and connections will be able to give one word to your husband and he will send everybody out of the house. But no, he decides to support them. I don't even know what to tell this man. Mommy, mommy, we will tell him whatever we want to tell him later. But right now, we need to look for a solution. Daddy has said I cannot spend a night here. What do I do? Where will I go? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm going to take this up myself. I have a plan. What is your plan? <laughs> your husband will come here. He must come here. Mommy, if you have a plan, just tell me. What are you going to do? Tell me your plan. Show you. You are a shameless woman. You are here, living in luxury, while your daughter in law has left the house and you're comfortable. Shame on you. You are the one that is shameless. You are supposed to imbibe culture of marriage into your daughter. To tell her that a woman builds her home and not destroy it. I loved and respected her. But that was in the past. What is going on here now? Hmm? What did I do now? Why did you slap me? Did I give you my daughter for you to send her back to me? I did not send her back to you. I was even begging her not to leave, but she insisted that she must leave. I don't, I don't know what to do. I want my wife back and I want my family back. But you are here, sitting and folding your arms while your wife is out of the house. Look here. Listen and listen good. If she spends a night in my house, she's not coming back. Oh, let her come back here. We have had enough of her. Let her remain in your house. Mama, Mama, why would you say such a thing now? Why would you say that she should remain there? See, I, I, please let her come. I love my, I love my wife. You know how important she is to my life, Mama. I know you love your wife, but does she love you? Eh? Does she show any single part of love from her side to you? If your wife loved you, I will leave this house for her. But she doesn't love you. She's just tied to her mother's apron, dancing to her tune. Of course, because she knows I know what is right for her. I am her mother, and I do only what is right for my daughter. He is my son, and I know what is right for him, and that is exactly what I do for him. Now look here, you overgrown purple. I give you two hours for you to get to my house and take your wife back. Else, this marriage is over! I will, I will, I will, I will come. Even before two hours, I will come. I, need, I want my wife back. Mama, I will go and get her. Oh, really? Mama, I want my wife back now. I want my, I want my wife back. And I, you're I, still I standing here. Why will you stand back here? Hop to it! I said stay here. I Hop to it! Move! Move! I'm giving you two hours! Oh, you're not listening to me! See? 
TikTok, TikTok, time is going. TikTok, TikTok, how are Stop that TikToking. <laughs> you think I don't understand all you are doing? Eh? You mm. are trying to manipulate my son to go over there and bring your daughter back to this house. Oh, if only my son will understand that you are just manipulating him. That even if he doesn't go back to your house to bring that Jezebel back into this house, she will come back here with her own two legs. Oh, keep living in a fool's paradise. My daughter will never come back here on her own. And let me tell you, if by tomorrow he hasn't taken her, <laughs> I will get another husband for her easily. <laughs> And get her that husband. Get her another victim. If only she can look deep into your marriage and understand that your marriage is facade. She will not adhere to anything that you tell her. With time, every wrong that you have been doing to my son, every secret that you have been keeping from him will come out in the open. And you would pay for it. Oh, please. Go ahead and study me. Study my marriage. Study my life. I don't give a hoot. But, you see, as regards this all and this marriage, you will know no peace until my daughter has taken her rightful place. You will wish you had died earlier by the time you see what is coming for you. Hmm. A woman that lacks peace. <sighs> we shall see. Are you sure he's going to come? I said he is coming. He said he is coming. Don't worry, I gave him two hours. Two. Mommy, it is just 20 minutes left. Don't you trust me anymore. He is coming. What if his mother manipulates him into not coming? Oh, I please. cannot stay here. What will I do? <laughs> Forget her. He is coming. Trust me. Good evening, good afternoon, sir. How are you, my son? Fine, Why sir. are you here? Um, uh, sir, I, I came to uh, to beg you. Um, I, I, I came to beg my. You must be a fool to have come to beg her. I'm sure your father is very ashamed of you. Um, sir, I'm sorry. I know I know what I did was wrong, but I'm sorry. Sorry. I did not slap you because of what you did. I slapped you because of what you are doing. How could you have come to beg her? How could you be so stupid? I am sure your father is very ashamed of you right now. But but sir, I do I don't understand. What is wrong with what's wrong in me coming to beg my wife to come back to my house? I don't I don't see anything wrong in it. You see? This your foolishness is going to continue to deprive you of peace in your home. Your wife asks you for your own mobile app pin. It is your choice to give or not to give. And if you decide not to give, should that be the reason why she should threaten to leave the marriage? Should that be the reason? And you, you, you fell for it. And then you bring your stupid blockhead here to come and beg her. So, what exactly are you begging for? Are you going to give her the pin? Uh, sir, I just came for us to have a conversation. You are a fool, Mark. You are a big fool. And you are the reason why my daughter behaves the way she does. 
Why would you say that to your son-in-law? A man who is trying to do right by his wife by bringing her home. Look at him. Why would you call him a fool? Sometimes I wonder what exactly it is you wish for your daughter. Don't you wish her well? <laughs> you see, I want sanity and a good life for my daughter. But you see, if her happiness is going to be on the sorrows of others, that happiness is ill happiness. I do not wish her that. But I will ensure that she doesn't get it. If I ever hear, Mark, that you give her that pain, I will hands off this marriage and I will not interfere again. Why do you hate me so much, Daddy? I am your daughter. You should be fighting for me. Vivian. I do not fight stupid battles. I choose my battles wisely. Mark here is like a son to me. And I know how much he loves you. And I know how much his own family loves him. And I will not allow you to destroy the peace in that family. Um, sir, I understand everything that you've been saying and I appreciate everything that you've been saying. But sir, please, I... I want my wife to go back home with me, please, sir. So, will you give me the mobile banking pin? Did you hear that, Mark? Did you hear that? You are the one that put yourself in this mess. You must be a big fool for coming here. I, I thought I was fighting a good battle for you by telling my daughter that she has no place here. Look, let me tell you. If you mistreat my daughter, I personally will come to your house, bundle her back here, and I will take care of her. But if, on the other hand, I find out that she's the one mistreating you, I will make sure that she's not accepted when she comes back to this house. Sometimes I wonder at you, DK. Is it that you don't want your daughter to live in peace in her husband's house? Don't you want her to stay with her husband? What is it you want? You see? I want peace. I want sanity and a good life for my daughter. I want her to be happy in her home. I mean, I wake up every morning and I'm supposed to be praying for my daughter's happiness in her home. But no, I find myself praying for my in-laws to graciously manage her, regardless of her stupidity. Stella, that is the difference between you and I. I tell you what, when a daughter is married off and she moves to her husband's house, she is not sold off to the husband. She is only given to him to first of all build her home and become a good representative of the family where she's coming from. And whatever she does in her in-law's place is a reflection of her family orientation. If she does good, her family is praised. If she does evil, her family is insulted. I will not have my daughter misrepresent me in my in-law's house. I know how well I inculcated in this girl good manners and good training. And I know how much you have spoiled her. Mark, the reason why there's still sanity in this home is because of the way I have handled her mother. Let me tell you, if you do not handle Vivian the way I have handled her mother, she will become a menace to your family. And when she becomes a menace, her children will take after her because of lack of fatherly control on your part. If you want to take my daughter, you can take her along with you. Vivian, if you want to go with him, that is not my business. But you see that pain she's asking for. If I ever hear that you give it to her, Mark, I will never interfere in this marriage anymore. In fact, I will consider you both unmarried. What? You heard me right. If you ever give her that pain, you are not only going to be doomed, they will take every dime that you have in that account and render you useless and take absolute control of you. Because I know that both of them have no good intentions. If I ever hear that you give her that pain, 
I will not intervene in this marriage anymore. And that is period. 